Hello and uh, welcome to Asaka Sports and I'm your host Dino Dawa. Today on Asaka Sports we are joined by Hilary Ngala who is an athlete for Pumula based club at Shossi Athletics Club. So we are going to be talking to him and we get to hear about his uh, career from uh, at the time when he was at school up to where he is right now having represented Matabala Land and also Zimbabwe in a recent events. Uh, maybe let me take this opportunity to welcome him on Asaka Sports. Hilary, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, thank you for having me. Yeah, you know, uh, we heard the news that you were in Botswana. How did it go there? Yes, yes. I was in Botswana. It was a competition. Uh, the name is Hybron International Meet. Mm. It was based in Hybron. So it, it was an international invitation for athletes from 30 countries. And then I was competing under Zimbabwe for, for the 400 meters. And then yeah, it was tough, but hey, that's the spot. That's how you make it. I took uh, position six, but the time wasn't bad. Unfortunately, I got injured in the four by four relay. I was the second leg runner and uh, I pulled a hamstring. So that's it from that. So the event was happening uh, like last month. Tell me more about uh, some of the events that you've already participated in from January up to the hybrid activity? Uh, 2019 hasn't been the year for me, honestly, because I've, I've pulled two hamstrings in, in a space of three months. So that's a major problem for if you're an athlete. So I can say basically 2019, I haven't competed like more competitive races. In fact, in terms of going out, I only competed in the our athletics board meet the January January 19 that was the first competition of the year and then unfortunately again I pulled my hamstring from the right leg then from there it took me about three months to heal I was preparing for the Hebron international meet which was on the April 27th that's it which we had just talked about then from there as an athlete Psychologically, if, you, if you're facing this, these injuries, it's hard. Doubt creeps in and you, you, you feel like you want to give up. So in terms of support, we really need it. Okay, yeah, maybe we are hoping that you're going to gain some uh, fitness so, soon enough for you to get back on track. Maybe just to tell us more about where it all started for you. When did you realize that you are a good athlete? Uh, basically, in the family, <laughs> there's no one, because like there's never been a history of oh. anyone doing athletics. I'm okay. the only one. So for me, it was just the, the calling for me to just carry my family's name. Like, uh, I, I don't know where athletics is just taking me. I'm just enjoying the ride. So from there, I, I, in fact, I never knew I had talent. I started doing those short runs, long runs, uh, using the force rod, all the new force rod. It was, uh, it's about six to eight Ks. So from there I started developing some endurance in terms of running. Then I started doing it, doing it, doing it, and so on. Then when I got to high school, that's when it all started. I, in fact, I realized I had a talent. Some coach from Victoria Falls called Swako Cat. Like he identified me and he was like, You're a good athlete. Keep doing what you do. So firstly I was doing long distance running. I was doing the five thousand meters uh, and the one thousand five hundred point five. So he was like, No, you're eight hundred meter runner or a four hundred meter runner. Stop, leave these this long distance events and concentrate on these two only. Okay. So from there, I started training the 400 because I just loved the event. It's hard, very hard, so challenging. So from there, the endurance and the speed, like my body, they, they were saying my body is just created to do athletics in a way. 
like I find myself doing things which, uh, which are, are trained for for years, which you train for for years. So from there, I started training for the 400. And then 20, 2016, that was my first national national event. I represented Matevelele North. Uh, I took position four, by the way. But in the relays, the the medley relay, we took gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so cool. the medley relay consists of four different events: the hundred, the two hundred, the three hundred, and then the four hundred meters. So first leg run, hundred, two hundred, then the four hundred. So we took gold. Then the four by four, I we took second. So from there, that's how it started for me. Since the passion plus the success in a way getting exposed in the industry and then I started pushing, pushing and pushing. So after I wrote my Oz 2016, mm -hmm. that's when I joined I Ishosi Athletics Academy. Then from there it's been a journey. Now you mentioned that uh, within the family there hasn't been a history of, uh, that relates to someone being good in athletics yes, then yes. suddenly you came along. Yeah, I came How his family uh, assisted you up to where you are right now. How did they take it when you started pursuing uh, athletics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Family, family has been there. Family has been there. Like, they've, they're, they're just my backbone. Because wow. every day I wake up with them. I'm there with them. Evening prayers, morning prayers. They're just pushing me. They're motivating me to just continue, continue. Especially this year, since I've been facing major injuries. They've been pushing me, you no know, push, push, push. So it's not family only. I've got a circle of friends, like Amajita. So, like, if you see their reaction towards you doing your thing, you're like their hero to them. So that it gives me self motivation to keep pushing and not give up in that way. You say that uh, you didn't realize you had a talent. Yes. So I want to understand from you. As you chose me. athletics, mm -hmm. is it about passion when you are pursuing athletics or is it about ability? How do you uh, it? From the way I look at it, for me, it's, it's both. Because it started as a passion, right? So as I started doing it, I was told, no, dude, you have a talent. Mm. So that passion plus the talent, I, I just wanted to see what he, where is it going to get me in the world of athletics. Personally, I want to go far in terms of professional level. So I'm still pushing. Now, seeing that your career is slowly developing into something big, yeah. uh, uh, it, it leads me to asking you the question, what do you wish to achieve in athletics? From the time you hang your, is it your boots or your spikes? Yeah, yeah. What do spikes. you wish to achieve? Uh, there are many things I want to achieve, but for now, I just want to continue with my studies. So I've been selected. In fact, I've been recruited, I can say, by Arnold Payne, Global Sports. So he's, he's, a, he's a white guy based in Zimbabwe. He, he was born in Zimbabwe. In fact, his home is Zimbabwe, but he's now based in the, in the USA. So he comes back annually to, to attend local competitions and recruit some athletes. Okay. So I was recognized by him 2018 by, uh, at, at the meet uh, at NAST. He was held here. He, was, he had a meet at NAST. So from there, he, he recognized me and he recruited me. In terms of the paperwork, we're done. So what's left for me is to post a uh, current time, meaning athletics is all about time, timing, 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 timing. So what's left for me is to post the time. So 2019, since it hasn't been a, the year for me, I haven't posted any time for me to pursue my, my scholarship, but I'm still working on it. Now, in terms of uh, your academics, is it in relation to sports or it's totally something different so that you have two dimensions in life, sports and academics? Is it related or not? Uh, I can say, yeah, it's related. 2018, 
2018, I was recognized by him. And then paperwork of the recruiting phase. So the next year, meaning I, I was supposed to start school, like that side, 2019. So since I haven't posted the current time, so that's why I'm still here. And your studies, as we had mentioned before, are they sports related or you just want to have different angles when you approach life in case your hamstring persists? Yeah, exactly. Sport, sport life is not something you do forever. Obviously, you've got your eligibility years, maybe five to six years of your competitive uh, performing. But after that, you, you got to have something in terms of academics which is going to carry you through life. Now, take us through the mentality of an athlete off the field and uh, just before the race. How is one supposed to prepare themselves? Uh, athletics is, is, a, is, a, is a mental game. Yeah, I can say that. Uh, it's a mental game. So, psychologically, if like we're in the core room, we're all athletes in the core room, we challenge each other. I ask you a question. So, where are you from? I'm wearing a vest, wearing written Zimbabwe, but you're asking me where, where am I from? So, in that, in that manner, you, you're challenged. So, the mentality which you have, like, on the outside of before the race, it's just, the adrenaline is just pumping. But when you, like, step on the track, it's like, uh, it's me and the track. I can see the other athletes, but mm -hmm. in a way I don't hear them. So it's just me you. and the track. So I'm just strategizing how I'm, I'm just going to execute this perfectly, in a way. So that's it. Now, you, you said it very clearly that athletics is all about time. Yeah. What have been the biggest challenges that you've been facing whenever you want to improve your pace and reaching the times that are very much needed? Uh, I can say... The fact that we here in Zimbabwe, there is a challenge of training facilities. Okay. That's the problem. One, that's the first problem. But we have uh, White City Stadium. Uh, we have to affiliate as a club or as a school to, to train there. So usually we affiliate for once in a year. Maybe we use the, the, the track, the Tatan track in, for two to four weeks. That's it. Then from there, we're going to, to the Cinder track. So for us to make it out there, like when we were representing the country, it's hard because of the, the challenges we're having since we don't have any sponsors to take us through or equipment to take us through. But that's not the reason why we shouldn't do athletics. Either way, we do it. Now... You having mentioned that you have a challenge when it comes to facilities. Is there anything that uh, as a club or as athletes, is there anything that you guys have done to maybe address the higher offices for them to give you or to help you out for you to get better resources for you to train? Yeah, we've, uh, we've written some emails. Uh, we're using uh, Manu Mpofu. He's, he's the chairman of the Blawai Athletics Board. So is the, is the person who like speaks for us in terms of representing us, clubs, schools, individuals as a whole in Blawai. So we've been using him to like put us out there. Yeah. And maybe just to look at your activities now uh, in the field, uh, you have uh, you have had uh, achievements. You have gone around uh, uh, Africa for quite a lot of time now. Tell us about the tournaments that you've participated in. in uh, and also your records, I know you, are, you have a record that is still standing actually. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, maybe if you can just brief us about your achievements and uh, some of the activities and uh, tournaments where you've participated in. Uh, from, from high school, I have a 400 meter record which still stands up to now in Matevel and North. So that's the first achievement for me which, which motivated me to push more into, into athletics. Then from there, I haven't had much success in it, but I'm still growing as, a, as an athlete. You see, they're saying Rome is not built in one day. Yeah. Yes, so we're still pushing. Now, the, 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 the program that was in Zambia, 
you were representing uh, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe. Also, so yeah. tell me more about it. Uh, it was a, it's, it's a, usually as a country we attend e, e international meets, so it was an e, e invitational event also, which was held in Lusaka, uh, Hero Stadium. So yeah, I was also doing the 400. Very good time. Two pos to position two in in my head, then took position four in the final. It was good. Then the four by four, the relay we took second. Yeah. Now you 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 mentioned something that has to do with uh, the challenges in terms of facilities. Uh, it tempts me to ask you the question: Is athletics a good career for one to pursue? Maybe let's say there's someone out there who's deliberating or they're still pondering whether mm -hmm. to take athletics or to find something else. What can you say about pursuing athletics as a career? Uh, pursuing athletics as a career from Zimbabwe is very hard, but that's not the reason why you should sit around. If you have a talent, just go for it. Like me, like what I did. But in terms of family, if you have family, sometimes we usually go to in in invitational meets sponsoring ourselves. We're not, sometimes we're not sponsored by the association because the association doesn't have money or it's targeting much higher competitions. So as a career, I say if you have uh, a dream and a passion like me, just go for it. If you had invitations, maybe as an individual, South Africa or anywhere else, or, uh, uh, outside Zimbabwe? Outside Zimbabwe, yes. I usually, uh, I usually go to Botswana because it's near, plus it's affordable. From there and then South Africa, those the invitational competitions, you you ask for for the uh, the association to clear you as an individual. Then when you go there to the invitational meet, you'll be representing the country. Now apart from the scout who saw you in NAST, mm -hmm. we have quite a lot of them coming through. Are they trustworthy? Are, are they in line with uh, what the athletic standards are in Zimbabwe, and that uh, do they come with proper? paperwork for you guys to trust and work with them? Are yes, you yes, 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 yes. They are trustworthy. In terms of me, uh, since I've been recruited by Arnold Payne uh, Global Sports Fund, so they, 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 they gave me a contract. They spoke to my parents, came formally. In fact, they, since they recognized me 2018, I was at school, boarding school, so they came along. That's how I saw the seriousness. They came from Blawai to Yamandlovo, where I learned. Then they came to school, gave me the news. Ah, it was so exciting. So I say they are trustworthy. Yeah, they are trustworthy. And now we have uh, heard so much about uh, athletes using uh, drugs. Uh, what's your take on sportsmanship and the drugs? Do you think it's very good for people to be doing that? And uh, if you had to give a word of advice for for those who are upcoming out there mm -hmm. in relation to drugs, what would you say? Uh, in athletics, we get tested before or after the race. So it depends. People get tempted to, 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 to take performance enhancing drugs because they want to make it out there. But that's not the reason why you should. It's better to take the long way around. Because the easy way out, it's, it's, it's hard and it's going to tarnish. Maybe you get banned for years or you, you end up not doing what you, you're supposed to do. You know? So in terms of drugs, people are, are tempted. Have you been tempted? No, I haven't been tempted. <laughs> and I, I thank you for that because I, I think I haven't got much exposure in those things. So... It's an advantage. I thank God for that. And if the exposure comes, are you going to be tempted? <laughs> no, no. It's better to take the, the, the long way around. Yeah. Now, um, with the year coming to a close for you, any events that are coming through? Uh, my off-season has already started. So for now, it's just off-season training. Just hit the gym, long-distance runs, then I'm starting track training in about three weeks time from now. So I'm taking it slow day by day, hoping January we're grinding. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us on Asaka Sports. Okay, thank you, thank you.
there you have it on a circuit sports uh, we have a header from O'Hillary and uh, his challenges when it comes to training facilities and also his recurring uh, hamstring injury but then uh, he's uh, resilient uh, in his nature hoping that uh, by the time uh, he hits the track and field uh, events by next year January all will be well for him. Uh, thank you for joining us on our circuit sports until we meet again on yet another beautiful program. Thank you for joining us. Oh.